Grace and peace to you all. This is yours truly here, Bishop Bowser, coming at you once again. Um, today, I just want to uh, uh, talk to you and share with you that it's not too late to get in the game. And I'm really speaking to those that are 50 years and older, and especially that once you hit 55 and older, a lot of times uh, we begin to think that, because I'm 60, so a lot of times we begin to think that, you know, it's time, you know, our life, we missed our moment, right? And, you know, a lot of times um, it can seem like and appear as though uh, us old, the older generation has been pushed aside, you know, because they say you got to make way for the young folks. Then the young folks call us old, outdated, and we need to get on out of the way and so on. And yeah, let's get on out of the way and let young people do their thing. But I believe that we as older and, and being the elders and being a senior uh, and seasoned, you know, there's a lot that we can do uh, in this game too, because now it becomes about our legacy, right? What we're going to leave behind. And so I know um, I got a lot of homeboys that just that's getting out of prison past three, four, five years. Been getting out of prison for doing 40 years, 35 years, 32 years, 33 years, 29 years, 25 years, 20 years, and so on. Uh, a lot of them getting out. And um, what I want to say to you all and anyone that fits this category is that it's not too late for you to get in the game. I know you're getting out and uh, you're just happy to be free and with your girl, your wife, your family. Um, you take any job you can get because uh, we live in a country that's... Uh, not, I shouldn't say the whole country, but we live in places where it's felony. It's not friendly to felonies, felons. And so um, uh, it makes it hard to uh, get a job and so on. And so a lot of times we just settle for whatever comes our way. But truly and really, you know, um, and I wish I would have learned this at a younger age, uh, that you can um, do a lot if you work for yourself. If you start your own business, whatever it is, especially, you know, a lot of my homeboys that's getting out, you have stories that you can tell. You can be a YouTuber. You can get on the podcasts. There are a lot of other different things you can do, a lot of skills that you have and have developed that you can use that as a business. And it's so easy now to get a business and make a living off of it and have something to pass on to uh, whoever you want to pass that on to. I know when I was coming up as a young man, you know, being a part of the gang lifestyle and then getting in church at the age of 22, still young. But now my mindset has shifted from the streets and crime and all that to just wanting to be saved. Right. And I I, I kind of had an attitude that was anti money. Right. I didn't want to hear about money. You know, of course, you have to work, you have to make a living, things like that. But I really my focus was on being saved. And just, you know, having a, a comfortable living where I can pay my bills and things like that. Not really looking at it from a perspective of being rich or being wealthy, being prosperous and being able to um, generate enough wealth where I can uh, uh, pass it on. Right. Um, uh, to my to the next generation, not just to my children, but to my children's children. And when you get older, you start thinking about those things. And sometimes you begin to think like, man, I waited too late. I wish I would have knew this when I was younger. But what I'm realizing now that I've gotten in the game and, you know, didn't let age stop me is that things can shift and turn around for you quick once you get your mindset on it. Right. And and so a lot of times, you know, the things that we've been through and the experiences that we've had in our life, we haven't been just wasting our time. And um, you may not have been in the game, but if you get in the game now, it's, it's not too late to get in the game and you can do well. You can prosper. You can have something to leave behind and you can also enjoy your life for whatever um, time God is giving you and us uh, to be here during that time. And so my attitude towards money was like I was anti-money until I really shifted my thinking from negative to positive, right? You know, because what you think is what you feel. What you feel is is how you will behave and how you behave, get an outcome. My thinking was negative towards money. So I felt that way towards it and I behaved that way towards it. And my outcome was I was either broke or struggling uh, to get my bills paid. Might have had enough to get by, but that's it. Wasn't able to save anything, wasn't able to invest anything. And most definitely wasn't really able to help anyone, right? And so, you know, when you shift your thinking, you know, uh, uh, money start coming to you. Wealth start coming to you. Uh, riches start coming to you. And, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a witness to that, right? You, you know, in, in no time, you could be a millionaire if you want to, if that's what you're striving for. And at the very least, you can be earning six figures very easy, very easy to start earning those six figures. And so, um, uh, just want to share with you that it's not too late to get in the game. It's not too late 
to start something now um, that a building on something that's going to generate wealth for you. That's going to help you to be prosperous. Uh, there was a gentleman by the name of Smith Wigglesworth. You know, he I think he died in the 1940s. He was an evangelist. And one of the things that he said was, is that, you know, what it took you and your natural self to do for 50 years with God working in you and through you, through his spirit, he can do in one year. And so I, I take that analogy to share with you that, you know, what, you know, just because you're 50, you're 55, you're 60 and older, you haven't wasted your time here. And in all that time, uh, there's some things that you're learning done. But right now, within the next year, you can really build something that will last and build on generational wealth. So I want to encourage you to start thinking in a positive way. Start looking for it. Start speaking it. Start sharing it. Uh, speak it to yourself. Write it down. Get a plan. You know, start working on it. Uh, and you'll start seeing things materialize for you. Uh, 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 things will just come at you you know, a knocking on your door. I, there's things I wrote down several years ago and I didn't look at it for a while. And I remember the other day looking at one of the things I have to scratch, uh, 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 scratch it out because it's already been accomplished and I didn't even realize that, right? So when you write things down and you get it in your subconscious, even though consciously you're not thinking about it, subconsciously you're carrying that out. Subconsciously and, and speaking and believing it and, and the, the universe, that's the way it works. That's the way God set it up, right? Through faith, right? All things are possible through faith. So you got to believe that. You got to believe that you can do it and you can make it. So no matter how old you are, even young people, I encourage you also. But, you know, our younger generation, you really got to listen to us elders and the older generation from the perspective of helping you to avoid the pitfalls that we made. Right. Because um, you might think you're doing well now, but you can be up today and down tomorrow. And so uh, we have a lot to offer and you have a lot to offer us, too. There's things I learned from my son, you know, my oldest boy. A lot of things I learned from him because he's into finances and things like that, investments. So I've learned some things from him, too, so we can learn from you. We can learn from each other uh, from that perspective. And so start your own business, you know, become an entrepreneur, be innovative, think outside the box. And there's a lot of things that you accomplish. There's a lot of things that you can get done. You know, especially to those who um, have records and I know you're just happy with the job that you have, but it's a horrible thing. You'll never get rich working for somebody else. You know, you got to do what you got to do right now to make that living. But I encourage you to get in the game, you know, start doing something for yourself and start saving, start investing. Right. And start spending time with yourself and with your family, developing yourself so that. Because that's where true happiness is, right? And and that you can live a prosperous and happy and, and be wealthy at the same time. It won't take long. It won't take long when you really believe this and you really step out on this. And so the other thing I just want to share with you before I go, you know, my, my wife has started a, a, a side hustle and uh, it's called Aberleys. And um, what I have here is Beer Bomb, if you can see that. And um, you can go to Aberleys, I believe it is, dot com. I use it on my beard. You can you can order some of this, right? Uh, for for the brothers, the men's that got beards. You know, uh, this is our side hustle in our business. You know, also scalp treatment. Also, she does other things for your hair, essential oils, and so on. And so you look at these things. You know, this, these these are things that you can do. Also, you know, she has creams, oils for your feet and your 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 body creams, and so on. And and that's how we do it. We support each other. We start our own businesses and we make it work, right? So let us support each other. But the main thing I just want to speak to those that are 50 years and older, especially 55, go for it. Don't think it's too late or it's over. Take care of yourself physically so that you can live long enough to enjoy the fruits of your labor, all right? Also, take care of yourself mentally. Take care of, make sure your mind is right. Take care of yourself spiritually, right? You know, uh, whatever you believe. But I would encourage you uh, to get in, to, to, to join me in my church and you can you can watch it. We can, you can watch this virtually also because I, I give you a lot of this in my messages and so on. And, and then financially, work financially, to be financially free, uh, to be able to do the things that you want to do, right? And so that's what I want to share with you today. Um, uh, it's not too late to get in the game. So go for it, my brothers and sisters. God bless you.